What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and I do have a change of plans. I know I said at the end of my last video that my next video will have a face cam, but it won't be this video with the face cam, it will be the one after this one. And I know my upload schedule has been pretty bad, so bear with me guys. In NBA 2K20, it definitely won't be like this, but it's been bad because for the past week, I cut back on uploading and I've been playing 2K pretty much all day every day because I want to hit 99 overall as soon as possible. I do leave for vacation on August 2nd and at the pace I've been going at, I'm going to hit 99 overall tomorrow, which is crazy to me because about two weeks ago I was only 33% and at the time of recording this video I actually am 95% to 99 overall. And as you guys can see it is because of this. In this screenshot right here my record is a thousand games positive and I want to show you guys a quick transformation. You can see my record right here but look at my record in this next screenshot. This is how much I've been playing 2k and I've barely taken any L's. As you can see from the first screenshot to the second I got about 300 wins a little bit less than that and about 50 losses which is pretty good and that brings me to the topic of today's video the 1v1 core as you guys saw by the thumbnail and the title I did go on a 70 game streak and today I'm gonna show you guys all of the highlight clips from that so to start the streak off I actually did end up going against another 98 overall I don't remember what archetype he was I think he was a rim protector and as you can see the score is pretty close so he was giving me a bit of a fight I want you guys to watch how this game ended so right here I'm gonna get into the paint I try to fake him out, he doesn't jump, and he does end up blocking my shot, but the ball goes in. So in my first game on this win streak, I got really lucky. So that was a sign that something good was going to happen. In this next game, I went up against a guard, and let's just say his defense wasn't really there. He's going to let me go right past him, hit him with an up and under, get him jumping, and slam it down for the easy dunk. Y'all know how I said his defense was bad? Look at this. I got him with a pump fake, and he lets me drive by him once again. And unfortunately for him... He let me get takeover, so you know that's a big mistake right off the bat. We're going to make this man faceplant and get a nice 360 dunk. And by the few highlights in that last game, you guys probably already know how it ended. It was an easy W. And in this game, I was doing too many drop step dunks, too many simple layups and stuff like that. So right here, I'm going to hit him with a drop step. And you know I got to do a little jelly. I got to switch things up every once in a while and make things fun. As you can see right here, I'm pulling up for three. It's not even a good release and it still does go in. And my takeover is about to run out, so I got to take advantage of it. Right here, I'm going to do a nice snatch back, get this guy drop into the ground and green the three. And that is actually one of my IRL friends. He pulled up on me multiple times, sometimes with his guard, sometimes with his big, and he couldn't drop me off. And like I was saying before, when I am playing the 1v1 core, I like to switch things up. Right here you can see, I'm going to do a nice hesitation to get wide open from the 3 and green it from the wing. And I like to dribble a lot too. Right here I'm going to do a between the legs crossover. This guy is reaching and I am teaching as I'm going to slam down the dunk. And just like everybody else, this guy made the mistake of letting me get takeover. Right here I'm going to do a snatch back, get him wiggling, get an easy layup. Somehow it was open. Honestly, I think it should have been lightly, but I'll definitely take it. And right here, as I'm trying to finish the game off, this guy ends up blocking me. So you know I gotta get my revenge. I get my own rebound. Once again, another ankle breaker. Get him touching the ground. He's jumping right here. And I'm just being childish, shoving him before I get the easy layup. I could have taken the layup before, but honestly, I just wanted to have fun and mess with him. Right here, once again, another ankle breaker. Got him leaning. Doesn't know what to do. Hop step dunk to game it 22 to 0. In the next game, we got a guy dressed in Lakers gear, wearing a LeBron jersey, thinking he can play like LeBron. But LeBron does not get posterized like that. Right here, he's going to let me get takeover for the last play. And that was a big mistake. Right here, I'm going to do a snatch back. He cannot get up, and I'm going to get a 360 dunk for the win. Look who came back. We got this IRL pulling up on me, leaving me wide open for the layup, and letting me get takeover. And that's a big mistake. So right here, when I did get takeover, I was not getting many ankle breakers. I don't know why. I just wasn't breaking his ankles. I guess he wasn't close enough to me. So I did two step backs, got him to step up, broke his ankles, pulled the mid range. Not even a good release, and it still manages to go in. And that's not it for the ankle breakers. Gonna do the signature snatch back, get him dropping on his back. 360 in between the legs dunk. And my takeover still has a little bit more time, so once again, I'm gonna do the same exact snatch back, get him dropping once again, and get a nice fillet for the win. Y'all see the top right? Yeah, you already know where this is going. This guy ends up reaching, so I'm just gonna drop him on his back. He can't keep his balance, and I'm gonna get a nice in between the legs dunk. And after that clip, I'm pretty sure this guy lost all hope. He's leaving me wide open from three. I'm going to end up greening it from the wing. And in the very next play, he does the same thing. He's leaving me open. I don't know why he's leaving me open from three after I'm greening at three. And in the very last play, 
I gotta switch things up. I'm not gonna shoot three threes in a row on him. I'm gonna try to break his ankles right here. Got him touching the ground. 360 dunk for the game. 22 to zero. In this next game, we got this guy. His username is Yeah Lockdown. So you think he'd be pretty good at defense, right? Right here, I'm gonna do a post hop shot. Get him jumping up and under. Easy layup. How are you going to have a lockdown defender and be bad at defense? I really don't know. Speaking of bad at defense, right here, I'm going to break my IRL, shoot a deep mid-range, and green it. And I want you guys to watch this ankle breaker animation right here. He's going to stumble, and then he's just going to fall straight down, and I'm going to get an easy layup. After that game, my IRL decided to pull up again, and he got dropped on all fours. This man was helpless. He did not know what to do. He was getting dropped left and right. When he guarded me on the three, I would drive by him. When he sat in the paint, I would pull a three. He just had no idea what to do. I love my build because I can do everything. I can break ankles, I can green from the top of the key, and I can finish inside the paint really well. And finally, after two or three straight games of playing my IRL, we got a new opponent, but unfortunately for him, we got the same result. I wanna show you guys what I can do without takeover and without ankle breakers. Right here, I'm gonna drive to the corner, step back three, and somehow make it. I want you guys to watch how crazy this play is right here. I'm gonna get an ankle breaker, wait for him to get up, take a heavily contested Euro, and somehow make it. When I tell you guys my build can do it all, I really mean that. Right here, I'm gonna get an ankle breaker, hit a step back three, green lightly contested in his face. And the crazy thing about that shot is my off dribble mid range is probably in the high 50s, that's what my guess would be, and I only have mid range dead eye silver. Also, my open shot three is only a 63 right here. You can see I'm gonna green a shot from the top of the key. I don't know how I can do that because my only shooting badges are pick and popper and mid range dead eye, both silver. Once again, we're gonna get back to back greens from the top of the key and right here he actually decides to guard me i'm gonna hit him with a couple jab steps the third one's gonna get him to back up and we're gonna get back to back to back greens from the top of the key this playmaking post score build can do it all in this next game we have a new opponent and i'm gonna keep it real with you guys he was clamping me but i did decide to hit him with a post hop shot fake and green the layup off the up and under shot next game we got this guy in all purple including his hair he's looking like a clown and as you can see he's also playing defense like a clown y'all remember that irl friend that pulled up on me this is his brother that decided to pull up on me on his new build he made a lockdown defender to try to guard me just to find out that he could not play defense like I said before, I like to switch things up on the 1v1 court. Right here, I'm going to do a hezzy and spin back to the three-point line and green a wide open three. Also, if you guys want to see me hit 99 overall tomorrow and join my park, make sure to add me on PSN. My username is JoshTheKing7. And right before I hit 99 overall, I will tweet about it, so make sure to follow my Twitter. It is KingJosh7 underscore. And also, make sure to check out the community tab. I'll probably post there as well, telling you guys to join my park. And going back to the gameplay right here, I'm going to get another ankle break he has trouble getting up I'm gonna get a nice euro dunk and that is the fourth ankle breaker I've got in this game on this last play you know I'm gonna try for the fifth ankle breaker of the game but I don't even need an ankle breaker to score I'm gonna get him jumping and get a nice 360 in between the legs dunk to end the game and since I did win that last game 22 to 0 my IRL was telling me to shoot a limitless three so I was telling him leave me open I'm not gonna make it if it's contested so I pulled the limitless three got a long arm and made the shot so he told me to pull another one I shot it from the same spot and I greened it and let's just say I took it a third time and it didn't go too well but even with him getting a chance and getting the ball he didn't end up scoring right here I'm gonna drop him once again get a nice euro dunk and at this point the game was pretty much over he's just falling on his butt not even gonna try to block this shot and I do end up shutting him out that game at this point he was making it too easy for me so I'm pulling off dribble mid-range shots and draining them I'm not 100% sure what my off dribble mid-range is but my guess would be in the high 50s and I'm out here making them next he's gonna leave me open for a euro and in the very next play I got takeover so you know I gotta use it I haven't used it the past two plays right here I don't get the ankle breaker first try but second try I'm gonna get him dropping I wait for him to get up and then I green the three from the wing so at this point I was just toying with him finally we got a new opponent and this game scared me so much because I thought I was gonna lose this guy was a post scorer who did get takeover but it doesn't matter because on offense we were just dominating and he did end up only scoring 14 points that game and the thing I love about new opponents is they have no idea how to guard me right here this guy's reaching and I end up breaking his ankles a split second after he reaches speaking of new opponents we got a lockdown defender with his lock takeover and he still cannot guard me he's running into the paint from the snatchback you know what I love in NBA 2k19 people that don't play hands-up defense this is why they always drop 
pretty much first try all the time and it's so fun to just see all these crazy ankle breaker animations especially on a big man. I made this build because it fits my playstyle, because I am a playmaker, I am a pass first player for sure, and I chose post score because every single year in 2K, going back to NBA 2K16, I've been an inside big man, and I have been a glass cleaner in NBA 2K17 and 18, so I wanted to try something new, so I picked post score, and especially because a post score does have silver dimer and a playmaking post score does have gold dimer. So when I do hit 99 overall, I'm gonna have Hall of Fame dimer on a big man, which is gonna be insane. So the ankle breakers are pretty much extra like I didn't even pick this build because of the double takeover I just picked it because it fits my play style a lot thank you guys so much for watching if you guys made it to the end of the video make sure to comment down below the number seven also make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed the video and once again in NBA 2k20 I'm gonna be a lot more consistent with this and make sure to add me on PlayStation if you want to see me hit 99 tomorrow also subscribe to the channel if you knew it's been King Josh and I'm out peace